Hey guys, so um, it's Blinding here, and I'm going to do my little motion tracking tutorial for Cinelera. So first things first, you're going to open up Cinelera and take in your motion tracking footage. I picked this because I put on this high contrast point right there. And so we're just going to go through the footage and take out all the parts that we don't want. So any time that the uh, part that you're going to track changes, like when I zoom in there, we're just going to delete that. Okay, so I'm going to take that and delete up there. And that means that we can come down here a little bit and make it a little bit longer. So let's go back to the beginning and go into video effects. Go over and add our motion effect. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure that this is set to save coordinates to a temporary file. You're going to click on draw vectors and make the, the master layer top and track subpixel. So it turns out I had keyframes on, so let's just redo that. Draw vectors. So I'm going to explain some stuff about this. So here we have the, we'll start with this, the translation block size. So that means that this is the box that is the translation box size right there. And that box is what it's going to track. It's going to try to find those exact pixels throughout the entire thing and keep this little arrow on it. So you're going to make the box the size that you want. So I don't want it that wide. I want it. You can scroll too on these little uh, dials. I want it that size. So we're going to make it that size. And then you can position it with the block X and Y axes. So I don't want it like that. I want it. I had a 22. So we're going to put it right there. And make sure that you're on the first frame. So with the first frame thing, you're going to go down here. And the frame number has to be number 1. Because that's what you're going to uh, motion track from. Always make sure that you're at the first frame of your video. So you can just go back to the beginning. Click on the home button. It, I just got into the habit of it. So, once you've set it with the X and Y axis, you're going to go into your translation search radius. Now, the search radius is this larger box here. And that's the area that it's going to look for every frame for those exact pixels. So, you're going to change it to an according size. Like, if it never went in that area, then I'm going to make it that small. But but then I'm going to keep it that wide so that uh, it can search all those areas. So, once you've made it the, um, the size that you want, you're going to go down here and search steps has to be at least 1,224. Just make sure it's like that. Now I click track rotation off because I don't usually use the rotation. You can if you want, but I don't really usually use it because uh, this works well enough for me. So, now we're going to just scrub through it to make sure that uh, it's tracking. So, if it tracks correctly, this little arrow right there should stay on the part that you're tracking. So, so far, so, oh, I'm getting an error. You can just minimize errors, actually, and it doesn't come up. It just loads the errors to that. So, this is looking okay. It doesn't really stay because, I don't know, um, track subsequel doesn't really show that it's going on. So if you click Stabilize Subpixel and then just play it, it you can see that now it's very stable compared to the original footage. So uh, now we're going to learn how to put something onto it like a picture or you know, whatever you want to put onto it. So we're just going to exit out of that and go video, add track. So you're going to come over here and you can hold down shift and press the arm track to disarm that track. And copy everything in that track, hold down shift, press the uh, arm track on your new video, and paste everything down there. And you can click this little arrow to show that the motion video is on it. So now we're going to name this motion video and name this background 
So basically, you can't ever have two of the same motion effect or two of any motion effect on like this clip at once because then it won't play correctly. So we're gonna stop playing this, and then we're gonna come in here, turn off draw vectors. Actually, no, we're gonna yeah, no, we're gonna come here and turn off draw vectors, and we're gonna load and do nothing. Okay, so. Now we're going to add another video track, and we're going to load a file like our subscribe button here, and throw it on the top. Now I don't know why, but pictures always come up small. So let's scrub down, pull up our picture, make it nice and big, and cut it down to size. Alright, so... Now we're gonna right click and click attach effect. Oh, and we're gonna click a shared effect, but I have to arm the track. Attach effect, oh geez. Shared track, so let's share it with our motion video. So it adds the motion video. All right, so now we're gonna click off draw vectors, click load chords from temp and track sub pixel. Think. Yeah. All right. So now let's go back to the beginning and zoom out. Now you're gonna take your camera automation right here and move this to wherever, wherever you want it. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And now you're gonna play through it, and it should track to uh, to the thing that you've tracked. You see how it's sticking to the door? Now, you're going to get some frame errors, like, there's probably going to be one coming up. And I'll show you how to fix that if we run into any. Generally, the problem when you get a frame error is, uh, that your thing, your, like this, it goes out of the box. So, let's turn on draw vectors for a second so you guys can see. It's tracking over there now because... This will eventually go out of the box, and that's generally a problem, so you just have to make it bigger usually.